Close your eyes, watch your breath, and let that be the story of your meditation. You stayed with the breath for the entire session. As for other stories, you don't have to get involved with them. All too often, our minds are like TVs where we have a remote in the hands and we just switch channels quickly, quickly. You get bored with this channel, you switch to another one, bored with that one, switch to another one. You never see anything all the way clear through. All you see are just Im images and impressions. That's what a lot of people go on. Ideas they picked up from who knows where, made an impression, and that was it. And then they stitch together their own stories, some of which can be very bizarre and often very hurtful for themselves or for other people. So you want to learn how to cut through the stories by making a story where you really stay all the way through with the in-breath, all the way through out, very continually, not letting there be any gaps. If you sense a gap, you get right back as soon as you can to pick up the thread of the story and continue. Because you want to see what happens to the mind when you stay with one thing continually. And you're not going to know anything about that if you're carrying on other strings as well, other storylines. So hold on to this one string, breath all the way in, breath all the way out. And it gives the mind a chance to put down its burdens. Part of the mind will say, this is being irresponsible. You've got all these other stories you have to worry about and see where they go. But the mind needs time by itself. It's going to, If it's going to do well in its outside stories, in other words, its engagement with the world, it's going to need a source of inner strength because the world keeps chipping away, chipping away. As the Buddha said, this, this body is subject to rubbing and abrasion, all kinds of attacks, and the mind gets attacked as well. So you need a source of inner strength, inner healing, to take care of all the wounds from the daily issues of daily life, the stories of daily life. So this is not being irresponsible. Hold on to this one story, because it's a healing story. It's a story that gives you the strength which you can take on other stories, and also realize which stories are worth taking on which ones are not. There are a lot of narratives out there in the world that are just not worth getting involved with at all. So make sure you stay with the story of the breath. This breath was like that, that breath was like this. You don't have to remember. Or you want to remember, though, is when the mind finally does settle down and you're beginning to come out, ask, where were you at that time? Where were you focused? What was the breath like? See if you can use that information for the next time you sit, so that the story of your breath meditation will develop and grow, turn into a skill, the kind of skill where you really can relieve the sufferings and stresses of the mind.